guys, today I'm going to teach you how to paint um, some sort of monstrosity uh, from Malifaux miniatures. It's going to be full of tentacles and arms and gribbly bits. You know, that's the mini we're talking about. I've primed it uh, in first in light grey and uh, then in white just on top, as you can see, so that all the little horrific details are shown in all their splendor and glory. Now, for that kind of, um, of horrible, horrible miniature, I think we'll use... Um, yes, I think we'll use some sort of uh, turquoise color, at least for some parts. <coughs> yes, let's use that. It's called Jade Green. It's a wonderful turquoise tone for from um, Vallejo, from uh, Game Color, the Game Color range. And we'll use some ivory as well. Ivory from Vallejo, or as I'm using now, Menoth White Highlight from Privateer Press, from P3, the P3 range. All right. There, let's put some here. We will not base all of our miniature in this mixture. However, we will do most of the tentacles. Because I want a mottled mutant type creature, you know. Bleh. So I'm going to grab a little bit of my ivory that's here on my palette and mix it in with the jade green to obtain a very clear and sickly, yes, very sickly, uh, alien base color. That's gruesome. Well, not too much gruesome, actually quite beautiful. You'll see. And now, with a little bit of water, as a wash, as a glaze rather, I will apply, start to apply my base coat on, for example, this tentacle. I'm going to paint all those little uh, suckers or uh, triangles or protrusions. Don't know exactly what they are. I'm going to paint them in another color later on. Right now I'm just focusing on that evil, evil green. Some sort of a hospital gown green, which does nothing to reassure anyone really. Tentacles have veins of sorts. No, it's really horrible. This is a miniature for Malifaux, but um, it will. Uh, I, I don't don't quite know what it what it is. It's a it's a never-born thing, nightmarish crap. I don't know. It has arms and tentacles. It's sufficiently horrific. I wanted to paint something Cthulhu-like. And uh, quite frankly, this is uh, the best miniature, the best um, Cthulhu-esque, uh, if you will, miniature. I've seen in a in quite a long time and I include the uh, RAFM 
miniatures that usually do the Cthulhu ranges. They are extremely gribbly, of course, but uh, nothing, nothing like this. The combination, the the whole mutation thing with mouth and arms and, and, and the whole and, and eyes even and, and the whole the whole ensemble. It's it's bleh. it's much more disgusting than just a few tentacles in bits. What makes the best um, kind of horror is transgression, really. For example, um, it's, um, an, an absolute monster is not really that horrible, not really that scary, unless it has something of a human. That's why uh, deformed or mutated humans are staples in many horror stories. The whole um, oh, it's not quite human trope. So, yeah, this is certainly not quite human, but it has human parts, and that's disturbing, I'd say. I don't think there are, there's any order to, to these arms. I glued them a bit... Uh, Helter skelter, willy nilly, in a haphazard fashion. But uh, if I if I did it wrong, and if the arms are not exactly in their rightful place or in the rightful um, order or in the rightful direction, even don't hesitate to correct me. I don't think I've done anything wrong. You know. Gribbly for gribbly, I think we're all we'll all agree that it's gruesome, whatever the order of the arms. I think this starts out as a tentacle but becomes an arm or oh no, I think that's the arm here. That's a, that's a tentacle. We're all right. It gets confusing. I suppose I could have, you know, tried painting one of those Kingdom Death miniatures. They're very beautiful, very well sculpted. But, um, and they're, they're extremely Cthulhu-like, that's, that's for sure. But I think they're beyond that, really. And, uh, well, we don't want anyone watching this tutorial to, to vomit or anything. Oh dear, I've put too much water in my mix. Never mind, we'll see how it goes. Yes. Put some more here. Only one more tentacle to go. After that, it's just arms and protrusions. <coughs> yes. Gribbly. Gruesome. Horrible. Perfect. Now, I think uh, the arms and protrusions and all that will paint in a flesh-like color well flesh-like. It'll start out as flesh-like, at least. I think we'll use tanned flesh from, 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 from war paints. Actually, war paints are the army painters range. Pretty good, I'd say. Rather good. Some of them are a little too flowy to my taste, but no, it's an excellent base nonetheless. So this is our tanned flesh, and we'll mix in a little of our, you know, jade green, 
in because blah, it's disgusting. Oh yes, this is absolutely awful. I think we'll have a little more, uh, a little ivory in as well. Oh yes, oh, oh this is absolutely sickening. There. We'll do the, the start. Of, uh, we'll do a, a wash of, of that color here at the start of the of each arm and of each uh, little protrusion. Well, you know, just the arms actually, I think. <coughs> People wonder if the Malifaux miniatures are fiddly to put together. I'd say, hmm, yes and no. I, I've had no real issue with them. Some, some of them are a bit fiddly, but mainly it's all right. And now for a bit of pure tanned flesh. Starting here on the ends of the hands. When I say pure tanned flesh, of course, I mean a wash of only tanned flesh. I am not at all suggesting you should paint with paint directly from the pot. That is not recommended. Not for base coating, not for anything. See, that wasn't dilute enough. But I'm correcting that as we speak. Perhaps I'll add just a little bit of the green here. Not gribbly enough. <laughs> See? Interesting. With the addition of very dilute colors uh, over white, for example, one manages to uh, actually uh, do a, a very fine gradient in between two colors that everything opposes, apparently, such as uh, some, th some sort of warm pink and a very watery cold red. Uh, very watery called green, sorry. So that's neat. Look at that. Gridley. I'll do all the other arms then. <laughs> 